All right, folks, the deck is Yogg Demon Hunter. You heard that right. The goal is to play a bunch of spells to make your Yogg bigger and bigger. Now, because Demon Hunter has limited spells, this deck does have the potential to go infinite with Augmented Elec and Glide, resembling kind of like a Dead Man's Hand situation, but it does require a lot of pieces to be in hand at the same time. In order to keep itself alive, it does have some Soul Fragment synergies, such as Spirit Jailer and Soul Shear, and then Sociologist Militia at the top end. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle. Watch this! Your power is no substitute. Do you ever get out of Diamond 5? Uh, yeah, when I want to. It's not very difficult to do. Okay, perfect. Turn 7 is looking good. I mean, I was literally one of the top five legend finishers in North America for a while, so. Yes, I can get out of Diamond 5. How many times have you reached legend? Way too many to count. I want to guarantee that this happens on turn 7 because it's so good into Reno decks. I need to take a risk here. Please don't have removal for this. IMO Legend is more about how much time you have to play the game than anything else. I haven't made it though. I mean, that's part of it, but I don't think it's the most important part of it. All right, let's uh, ruin their draws now, I guess. Oh god, here comes the animation. One eternity later. Okay. Uh their Reno is now offline is the uh is the good news. Didn't know the effect applies to the opponent as well. Yeah, that's why uh Elec is sometimes run in like um Weasel decks. Okay. I mean, we've got another one of those, so it's fine. I don't want to play this this turn because I might play a skull if I, or I want to play, be able to play a skull if I hit it. Oh, their hand is really not good, is it? <laughs> You'll love to see that. Well, there's the skull we were looking for. Alas, poor oh, hey, it's another skull. Vengeance. I mean, three mana draw three is just kind of fine as a card, right? I don't necessarily need it to be in the outcast slot. I do want to put the double jump back into my deck, though. as well as the uh, the glide. So, or, no, I'm actually, that's my last glide. Um, I wanna find the Elec, that's for sure. So let's find the Elec, I don't need this outcast. Alas, poor warlock. Mia! I'm gonna have a hard time moving this over to the outcast slot, so the glide is probably more about like stacking my deck than messing up the opponent's stuff. We kind of already did that against them, so. Shouldn't be too big of a concern until we see the, um, the Reno activate. Need card that is 10 mana draw, one card legendary. 
I've, I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. We only got seven spells in the Yogg pool right now. <laughs> so, it's not a great Yogg, and I would rather hold off and get multiple Yoggs in the future. That's fine. I don't really care about that. It's just stuff on the board that I can kill. Now he says 10 mana draw one and is a legendary. It does not draw a legendary. I still don't know what's... <laughs> I don't think I need more of those. I'm gonna save the weapon charges now. Anduin. Uh, yikes, this hand is struggling. Guess we just keep going face. I mean, that, that glide on curve really kind of, uh, sure, really kind of messed with them, it seems. All right, they need AoE in hand. If they, they don't, they shouldn't have Reno active, right? I'm assuming that's why they're holding cards is because their Reno effects are deactivated. Just gave you a spawn to kill? I mean, they had, um... It was created by the Elix, so they have another one. Alright, more Yogs, chat. Why is it so fast for me, but so slow when the opponent... It's not what I need. Chaos Strike is actually lethal, isn't it? Unlucky. Alright. I can get a cheap Yogg if I top deck something playable here. Or we just win, I guess. I don't know. Oh, good. Wait, they're actually dead. Not good. Do I hold out for Yogg chat? Alas, poor warlock. Nah, I'll just kill him. Is mine. I'm playing the Yogg for sure. I am just gonna get my damage through. Cause he's gonna clear my board for sure. Good start. Oh god. Oh, okay. Freezing Trap doesn't sound bad. I don't have Murlocs. Sure. I like spells. Not that one. Oh! Face? Wrong face, idiot. Now that's pretty good. No! Come on! Well, okay. I'm gonna attack last because he might offer me some additional, um, okay. <laughs> 
Anyway, he might give me additional damage. Alas, poor warlock. I hope he didn't blow himself up. He didn't. We did get another Yogg. And apparently we healed the full. Alright, I'm just gonna take that off the board. I don't know what's actually going on here because the animations are brutal. Oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> Double void contract. Alright, here we go. Not a good start. Not a good finish. This ends now. Uh, I think I keep this just in case of aggro druid. So that's the most common uh, droid right now. Am I the only one that sees you are wearing the same black shirt every day? Yep, you're the first person to ever notice and say something. I'm surprised it's taken this long, to be honest. Well, good thing we kept this immolation aura. What music are you listening to? Uh, Hearthstone music? Okay, well, Patches was already pulled, but that gives them a little bit more late game. I can kill that, and I need to. <laughs> Still able to kill it and take that trade, even though it's cute. Don't draw the other one, please. I'll play the top decked one, because it's more tilted. Just need to get to that Yogg and we'll be set. Or I could go for the double jump into glide value. I'll play that on six though. It's not likely that they uh, are going to try and kill this Elec. I think we win from here. Aha! Okay. Problem is, it's gonna take us a while to actually win the game, and even then, we could we could potentially lose still because uh, Yog does uh, Yog works in mysterious ways. I have a lot of soul fragments in my deck, don't I? That's pretty cool. Now that's a top deck. Go face? I think we go face. I'm probably playing this and then looking for like weapon and chaos strikes and such. You have legendary skill, my friend. Victory is yours. Easy game. Alright. So what we want in this matchup is we want the Elec into Glide again. So there's 
potentially a glide. Probably don't need the cycle of hatred, but we have it. Still have ideas for cards without a game design education? Yeah, you can, but I don't know. Like it's, that takes a lot of thought <laughs> and my attention is already divided between a lot of different things while I'm streaming. So it's not like, I can't give it the appropriate consideration that that type of question requires. Ideally, we would be able to turn off the um, the Raza, but I don't think that's looking good here. Please don't touch my Elec. I need it for next turn, hopefully. That would have been a really good time to top deck the uh, the glide, wouldn't it? Okay. They never have removal for this. They're always just coining a Raza, right? Oh god, actually, maybe please don't coin a Raza here. No! Stop! Oh. That's frustrating. That was my win condition. Now I need to hope this hits like a skull, I guess, so that I can get the second Elec. Okay. Now we don't really care that much about turning off their... Um, The arena stuff. Just need to do powerful things when I can. I'm gonna play this next turn in case I hit the skull. How to turn off Raza? Um, well, we needed to do it before the Raza came out, but we can play Elec into Glide and uh, it shuffles multiple copies of their hand into their deck. Please give me skull. That's no good. The sand is a abysmal, so I just have to play the glide. It's only negative one card for them. Pretty good sociologist at least. That's a that's a win condition, I guess. I'm gonna go face with the weapon here because I have the marrow slicer as well. Or demands an answer. Is this deck better than Polkelt's Paladin? Uh, not the most recent version that I played. Anduin. Got 18 plus 5. I don't think I get there this turn. Well. I'm one damage off. I can potentially turn off their Reno next turn if, but like, that's a turn too late, unfortunately.
Wait, why was it green? What did what happened? Did I shuffle the Shadow Visions card into their deck? Is that what happened? I don't have any more mana. Did I discard my hand? Please don't. Okay. Okay. Oh, I just used my mana. This is such a good yog. My hand is full. Vengeance is mine. Well, maybe he does. Wait, we hit double pilfered power? What just happened? For this ends now. Seems like a full keep against um, Shaman. I'm gonna set up for the Soul Shear on that next turn, or even just the uh, the Warblade. Probably Soul Shear this turn, and then Warblade next turn. Warblade with the Hero Power deals with that. Ideally, I'd be able to save the coin for the Cycle of Hatred, because that seems like it would be good in this matchup, hopefully. Not Taunt Totem. you. Well, I love you. Good job. Alright, um, next turn is Warblades, and then on turn six we hopefully coin out a Cycle of Hatred. Have you ever seen Disguised Toast Zyog Lethal? Yes. Unfortunately, I'm not quite as skilled as him, so I've never pulled it off myself. That did not change at all. Next turn I can also play this, which is likely to hit one of the Skull of Gul'dans, and then I can coin out the Skull, depending on how much stuff I, I need to clear here. Mechathune into Cataclysm. Mechathune into Myra's into Cataclysm, if I remember correctly. Please hit the skull. What is wrong with you? I'm gonna take the attack this turn and then just commit to the uh, cycle of hatred on the follow-up. Because like, Taunt Totem would have been a bummer there again, so I probably just needed to take, put the damage in there now. Really concerned about, oh my god, okay. This is gonna hurt.
Potentially dead to Crackle. But I could glide next turn. I probably played this glide. No, I don't want to give up the Yogg, though. Anyway, I could glide to try and find the, the Soul Fragments. Okay, not spell damage at least. Okay. Skull seems good here. Alas, poor warlock. Ow. How is... I'm going to play this next turn. I have seven soul shards in my deck. This is guaranteed to hit the skull. Please don't kill me. Good ED totem. Oh my god. Why are you doing this? Okay. That's immediate healing, at least. I can go here, here, here. Or I could double tri- No, I need to draw. I grow impatient. Or do I need to play the healing? I probably just need to play the healing, right? So that means I double trade, play this, play this, and go face. And I'm playing this next turn. I grow impatient. Or I could just glide this turn. This is likely to hit some healing, right? Yeah. Cool. Let's get a board presence now. Next turn, we can glide, or we can Warblades glide to get some healing and then put additional Yogs in our deck. Or we could just throw out the Yogg for lethal. That's rude. Elements I like. Totems I love. All right, Yogg it is. He'll save us, right? What are you doing, Yogg? Why are you so dumb? Alright, at least we got the Noble Snack. And at least we got the Blessing Authority on the Yogg. Look at this thick boy. Did I draw any soul shards off of the UI? I wasn't paying attention. Thank you to legendary patrons Anonymous Toast, IGN Unknown, Fizzle Jizzix, Molly Mock, Justice Crater, and Keenan.